Yeah, man, right here at the Good Honey Bee Yard once again. We're doing the final thing where the smoothening and embossing is concerned. Thursday, February 20th, 2020. It's 12 noon. I'm going to, after this, I'm going for lunch. I don't know about you. But here we go. This is the embossing roller. And we're going to emboss those foundation sheets that we made just now. And it's a simple process. It will go even better than the first one. Wrong way. It have a, it have a right side and a wrong side. Okay, so we put it in the sheets through here, like that, and you have the embossed foundation coming out just like that. And you see, it only takes one pass to do it. Whereas smoothening it takes several times the other pass it through. So right away I can put the stencil on these sheets and get my foundation, put it on the frame, and tomorrow I can be putting in these wax foundation on the colonies. So this is what I do with my wax. Other than dipping the boxes and the other equipments in it. I hope you enjoy watching the videos and seeing all the non-ticks that I've been doing. To get, to get the good honey. Take a look from behind. I'm trying to do it one hand to show off, you know. Let's do a smaller piece. Easy like that. And this is right here from the Good Honey Bee Yard. Beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. Nice beekeeping practice, man. Don't worry, you see all these pieces, they will work, you know. You just have to match it up. And I will show you what I mean in a little while. Okie dokie. Hold on there for me. There you go. Nice man. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, folks. I'm going for lunch and I finish. So I hope you had an enjoyable time watching what I do here at the Good Honey Bee Yard. I am Hans T. Yeman, and we'll come back to you in our timing. 
Oh, oh, right, right, right. I have to show you the um the frame. Okay, hold on there. Okay, so this is what I do to get my correct size of a stencil, and I will put it onto the sheet, looking at the the cells, the the hexit, hexagonal cells. I may not have it correct. I just cut it out like that. And what? And there you go. You have a perfect sheet of foundation. And that is the deep. And I can also do a shallow. This is the stencil for the shallow. So I will just make sure that I have all the hexagonal cells correct. And I will cut out the shallow from it. Easy like that. What we have is a perfect sheet of shallow foundation. So that is the whole the whole synopsis there. So what I do next is I would um I will put some paper at the, the bottom, press it down like that. I put some more paper in between. But I will do this after I wash the sheets. After I wash the, the soapiness out of the foundation, I will store it like that. So when, when the time comes, I have all my foundation sheets there ready for putting onto the frames. So don't worry yourself, man. Everything in a gear and in a timing. I can also use pieces like this for a complete shallow or I could cut it three quarter inch and just put in a strip but I, I would hardly uh, put in strips I have the um, the wax so I do the whole thing one time yeah man so here goes the other seppi if you have a piece like this you have pieces, like we have a piece like this here, right? You'll cut it to suit, and you'll match the, you see right there? You would match the, um, you would match the, the cells. And when you have a few of them line up, you could cut it off like how I do it on this frame here, and the bees will accept it readily. So, although it might be coming out, from the mill over there in pieces as you see it just take a little more time to get it done like this and you're good to go so that's the seppi man right so i have all these rolls here to finish to emboss i have to emboss those there as well and we're good to go so you're welcome to come back the next time you know don't leave me here alone as per usual TTFN, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something too. Eh? Don't just watch it by yourself, you know. Tell a friend, a neighbor, a good partner. Yeah, man, pull them across. Drink some coffee, make some juice. And watch me, because remember, you wouldn't get this thing on that side. I take this thing on this side for you. Okay, bye for now. TTFN.